G'day and welcome back to another Gas Walkthrough. Uh, today we're looking at October 29th, 2025's Skyscraper Sudoku by Clover. Clover's one of us at Zero Guys HQ, so my, my name is Bill Murphy. G'day, how you doing? Um, welcome refugees of the Wall Street Journal. Here's what genuinely, actually approachable Sudoku look like. Um, that's, that's a little cheeky. Sorry if I'm getting a little cheeky, it's Thursday night. Um, but yeah, we're gas, genuinely approachable Sudoku. We create, set, and solve genuinely approachable Sudoku for you, the person watching this. You will find the link to today's uh, puzzle in the description down below. You will also find hat times, two hats for a very fast time, one hat for a pretty fast time. And everyone gets a dinosaur because we love you all equally. Uh, that being said, I'm going to get into it. Let's do it. Now, I did say that this was genuinely approachable Sudoku, and then uh, uh, this is a skyscraper. But. Let's see what we can do about that. So, normal Sudoku rules apply. Each box, uh, each row, and each column must contain the digits one to nine once each. Now, each digit represents a skyscraper with height uh, equivalent to its value. Higher numbers represent taller buildings. Clues outside the grid tell you how many skyscrapers can be seen in that row or column when looking directly from the uh, directly into the grid from that direction, where taller buildings block all the shorter ones uh, behind them from view. What does that mean? Uh, so I'm gonna. Problem is, uh, I like this skyscraper puzzle because so many of the clues are just instant uh, giveaways. But that doesn't make it real easy to explain. So if we have a three, what that means is, say I started from here um, with a six. What that means is uh, we can only see three numbers larger than it um, when we go down the column. So if I say do this, so I'm just going to pick, ignore conflict tracker for a second, eight, uh, seven, nine, something like that. If we do something like this in the row, then from six, how many more higher buildings can we see? Well, uh, two, one, and five are all less than six, so we can't see that building. Uh, eight is greater than six, uh, so we can see that one, but now we've got a seven, which is greater than the six we started with, but it's less than the eight, so we can no longer see that. The nine, we can see, so it's always the tallest number. Um, so we would have a skyscraper value of three in that column. Um, hope that's a pretty clear explanation. I normally hate doing skyscrapers. I will make an exception for this puzzle. Um, but that's all you need to know to solve uh, today's puzzle. I'm gonna jump into it now, let's do it. So a skyscraper value of one always must mean that it can only see one building and the only way that works is if there's no other taller buildings in it so it must be a nine we can put a nine in the center now uh this five clue means i need to see three buildings taller than five and they all need to be in a row before that nine which means this has to be six seven eight last digit in the uh column is a three now uh up, up, up. Well, uh, let's go the other way. Uh, now, I need to see three digits higher than four in a row before we hit the nine. But I just placed an eight here, which means that I can never place an eight here, which means it has to be seven, six, and five. Now, this five along here, I need to have uh, four digits in a row that are greater than um, five. Uh, uh, Great, uh, greater than five, so six, seven, eight. I put the two in here. Now, uh, same logic as just before, eight can't go here. So the only way I can have a skyscraper value of five in this, uh, in row three, is if I go five, six, seven, I can place the eight there. Uh, now, I have a couple of uh, three skyscraper clues left in the grid, uh, that's an eight. Uh, now, this three here, I need to have a digit less than three. Two. I don't know. Knowledge. Knowledge. Powerful. One there. Two there. And this is either one or three. 
Uh, that is nearly every clue. Six, seven, eight. All right, let's go around and see what we've got left. Three can't go in those two cells, so it has to go there. This is six and seven. Uh, we can just do those, which forces this to be an eight. Uh, that three is not going to tell us a lot now. Uh, one, seven, eight along here. Uh, maybe not. Uh, seven. Can't go in those two cells. So that's seven. Two there. Four there. Uh, and now four, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. eight comes down, make eight there. This is one and seven. I cannot place a seven there because I would maximum have a skyscraper value of three. This has to be one seven. Uh, placing three there, six there, seven there. Now, I actually believe I have no more information to gain from skyscraper clues. That is correct. That is correct. I don't have any more. So that's it. That's uh, all the logic. Now time to absolutely blast through some Sudoku. Uh, three, five, uh, one, four. I don't know if you do like the um, uh, daily puzzles on LinkedIn. A uh, friend of the channel, Thomas Snyder, um, organizes quite a lot of those. Uh, and... People have accused me of being cheating on them, but it just feels very weird to be like, hey, I run a Sudoku channel. Um, I'm not, I just, I just do puzzles on YouTube, gang. Um, but like, you know, a hobby. I can do classic Sudoku pretty quickly. Um, but that's it. That um, That's Skyscraper Sudoku from Clover. Uh, my name is still Bill Murphy. Wherever you are in the world, I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. And I'll catch you next time. Cheers.